I bet you wasn't expecting another one of these guys. Roll the intro. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Lee and I'm a DIY electric skateboard builder. In this series, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a DIY electric mountain board. From scratch, component parts, all the way to a fully ripping, shredding dirt machine. Let's do this. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Lee and I'm a DIY electric skateboard builder. And well guys, it's been about six months since I built the uh, electric mountain board. And here we are again for a little update on what happened since. Some upgrades I've done and some thoughts on the build for you guys. So guys, it's been about six months since I built the board and I have made several upgrades to the configuration that I ended up with in the last video in this series. So guys, the first thing that I did to the board quite soon after finishing the series was I changed the gear drives and that was because I actually broke one of them. Entirely my fault. I didn't put it on tight enough and one of the drives came loose and the gears collided, destroying the uh, POM wheel spur gear. Now I contacted Etox to say, ah, I've just destroyed one of these gears. And he said to me, no worries, I'll send you a new one and some new casings free of charge under warranty. He's under absolutely no obligation to do that, but he did. And I changed them over on the board because the original casings that he, he supplied to me were in case you were using external sensors. And I'm not, I'm using sensors in the motors. So he sent me there his traditional uh, casing for the gear drive, which I promptly installed and I've had no problem since. So big up Etox, customer services, everything. Um, he didn't need to do that, but he did that because he's just an upstanding member of our community. If you guys buy something from Etox, I can guarantee you, you'll get good customer support and also whatever you buy is gonna be amazing. Made in Germany, high quality European engineering. And then after the gear drives, about a month later, I upgraded to the uh, MBS F5 bindings. These are considerably nicer than the tramper ones. I also took the opportunity to get the heel straps and I added them on. Absolutely essential for off-road riding, guys. If you're riding off-road, you need the heel straps. The MBS F5, probably best in class. Um, bindings for, for an electric mountain board at the moment in 2019. These are absolutely fantastic and I highly recommend them for any electric mountain board. And then again, a few weeks later guys, the Tramper Wand arrived and I remember saying in my last video that I'd ordered it and I didn't like the Alien Command remote. As soon as the Tramper Wand arrived, I was out with that and it's been absolutely fantastic ever since. I've got a couple of videos up there if you want to check out what I think about the wand. It's amazing and uh, yeah, it's just opened up a whole new world of possibility with that remote. I'm super stoked of it and I really enjoy riding with that remote. And then guys, I rode it like that for several months, just enjoying it, having a good time until I saw that the Herrero Bro Deck was out. It was Big Ben of Big Ben Enclosures put me onto them and said, look, this is going to be amazing. So I said, I'll have one and it promptly arrived just a couple of days ago. Yesterday, I put it on the board, so I haven't actually ridden with it yet, and I'm really excited today to go for a ride and test out that new deck. Tons of cool features. Uh, I'll throw a link in the description to the Indiegogo. You can see all the different features they've got on that deck, and uh, yeah, promises to be really good. And also, at the same time, I did a VESC 6 upgrade using the enclosure that I prototyped with Scott's board. Now on my board, VESC 6 is gonna be smoother, because it has three shunts instead of the two on the Fox box that were on there previously. And also it's gonna enable me to run a few more amps to the motors or a few more battery amps anyway, which is gonna give me more torque higher up in the range. So guys, yeah, with that said, um, this is the board now in late 2019 and it's looking pretty good. The only upgrade I would probably consider now would be a 12S battery for the board. As you know guys, our battery system is modular so we can change that easily in the future. Might be quite cool to have a lightweight pack for the woods. But uh, I mean, to be honest, the 10S pack has been pretty awesome. I don't find it too heavy and I've been jumping around. Not massive jumps, but just little jumps in the woods with it, no problems. So yeah, with that said, I'm gonna get all my safety gear on and let's take the board out for a shred in the woods, guys. Hope you enjoy this. Right, before we get into the woods guys, 
I think I should just talk to you a little bit about the safety gear that I wear these days when I'm riding this board. First of all, gyro switchblade full face helmet. Protecting your chin is really important on a mountain board, guys. And I really recommend a full face helmet. I ride the gyro switchblade. Next up, I've got body armor. I'm using the Thor XT body armor. It's got shoulder, elbows, front and back protection. It didn't break the bank. Worthwhile investment, I think, just in case. I'm also wearing G-form padded shorts, hip protection and coccyx protection on the back. And on the knees, I'm wearing Leite 3DX knee pads. I think they're 3.0 knee pads. These are really cool. They're like quite soft, but they're hard and on impact. It's that special material. And then of course, guys, always every ride, Flatland Pro e-skate gloves. Fantastic. Let's get into the woods. Okay then guys, I hope that was a bit of an insight into how I deal with members of the public when I'm out and about on the board and they're hostile to what I'm trying to do. Um, remember guys, the future laws and perception in your country is going to be determined by our behaviour now. So if a member of public isn't happy with you, doesn't like what you're doing, be polite and move on. Now as you can see in that conversation, his opening line to me was, I want you to leave the woods. By the end of it, I gave him my YouTube channel and he said he'd never seen me. So just a bit of respect for local people, treat them properly with respect and they'll treat you back with respect. And hopefully, you know, in, in, in a little bit of time, this sport will be, and the hobby will be recognized as, as a genuine mode of transport. God knows why in 2019 it's not, but there you go. Anyway, onto the deck guys. I don't think I explained it properly earlier, but this is my first time riding on this Herero deck and the Vesca 6. I only deck swapped it yesterday, so everything is new for me on that front. And let me tell you about this deck, guys. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, I miss the springiness of the Tramper, yes. For jumping, that spring to get you off the ground is, is, is missing. But that said, when you land this thing, it's super stable, way more stable than the Tramper. Gives me more confidence to go faster. So uh, it's definitely a win for me, uh, this deck. It's absolutely lovely. Way more stable, way more control. Um, I love the wide foot placement. I love this flat car thing they've got, which is where the deck has a, has a camber to it, but not here. It's actually flat where your feet go. And that just means that it's a lot more stable and, and your feet are not like that. They're sort of flat on the board. It makes for an awesome ride. Really enjoying it, guys. So yeah, guys, also I'm filming with the GoPro Max today. All of the ride footage is the GoPro. Let me know if you like it. It's better than the Insta360, I think, but uh, yeah, let me know. And with that said, guys, let's get back to the riding because I'm dying to get back on this board. So yeah, in a bit. <laughs> Just like that, just like that. Just 
So there we go then guys, if you got this far, that's my board in late 2019. It's pretty awesome now, I'm really stoked about it. Uh, might make a bigger battery, higher voltage, but other than that, it's, I love it. Onto that Herrero Bro Deck. Guys, I love it, it's fantastic. Brilliant upgrade. One of the best upgrades I've done to the board, absolutely. Uh, yeah really improves that ride, makes it super stable, have so much fun in the woods. We did seven miles guys, I don't know if you can see that. Seven miles we did. Uh, of just pure fun. I don't know how anyone could argue that that is not some of the most fun you could have on an electric skateboard. Absolutely fantastic guys. So uh, yeah, I got on tour with Tramper this week. There's a lot of the reason why I'm trying this board out is because on Friday, uh, we're doing a meet-up in London with Jay Boston and Tramper. And then on Saturday, we're back in London taking Jay Boston and Tramper on a tour of London. Sunday, we're going up to Mid Wales to ride the Minotaur Trail. And then onwards, we're doing some other cool stuff. I'll be taking the camera, guys, and documenting as much as I can. It's going to be an absolute riot. But uh, yeah, the board is signed off. And I'm signing off. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Next week, awesome content coming. See you later.